This is code.org, and you should have three sentences, not the exact ones I have here, because you made your own and that would be weird. If you don't, make sure to check out the last portion of this lesson. Use paragraph tags. The P tag, this one and this one, the P tags or paragraph tags in and in start and end tags are placed around the text to indicate that it is the start of a paragraph and then placing text between paragraph start and end tags lets the computer know that it should be treated differently often just spacing it out from other text yeah it's almost just a line break remember there's helpful hints how is a paragraph element what is a paragraph element boom and boom and how can i do multiples look how it's shown us here so these are super helpful tips pay attention to those now do this Place text you just wrote inside at least two separate paragraph tags surrounding it with P tags. Now you might think, but we have three sentences. Yeah, but a paragraph could be one sentence. It could be three sentences. It could be two sentences and one sentence. So it's kind of up to you. Now when thinking about paragraph tags, notice how this is the start of a body tag and this is the close, this backslash. This is a forward slash. Did I say back? It's forward. It's leaning forward. This forward slash means end. So hey, start my body of my web page here, end it here. All of our paragraphs will be between these tags. But now I need a paragraph tag. Well, just like the body, it will first just be the symbol P, right, with no slash, no forward slash. And maybe my first paragraph will have these two sentences in it. So now I need to end it here. Now, especially starting out, it's really nice to keep it on separate lines so you can see what's going on. Notice what it does over here. You might have to hit refresh and save, but suddenly, boom, this is on a separate line than this. And if I go back, it no longer is. So that's what's telling the computer to break those out. And now maybe I'll do this again. Now this isn't gonna have as much of a visual difference because we've already separated it out with one paragraph tag. But then why have two? Well, as you build onto the web page, you want this set up so you can keep going. But there we are, two paragraph tags. Sometimes, at least, sometimes students will get fancy. Maybe you want to add slash, don't forget, forward slash. The forward slash is next to the shift key or the uh, less than sign on your keyboard. It's the question mark key. Boom, boom, boom. And you want to do three paragraphs. That also works. I do want to point out, though, putting it on a new line in the code isn't what makes it go on the new line. It's the paragraph tag. Onward.